Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Welcome back, everyone. A summer day across the Capital Region with lots of sunshine, lots of heat, and also, unfortunately, lots of humidity as well. Looking at our tower cam, things are looking pretty okay. 91 degrees right now, southeast wind at 8. The dew point's still 74, so it makes it feel like 100 degrees right now on the hour. Humidity of 57%. We do have a little bit of an interesting feature on live Viper radar. You see this little blue line? That is an outflow boundary from some thunderstorms that developed earlier to the east and pushed out a little bit cooler air that has been making its way towards the west. We do have one thunder shower just to the west of us and also just near Addis or just west of there near Bruley. That's drifting off towards the west. Other scattered showers from near Lafayette down towards Morgan City, but that is all staying to the south and west of us. And as we go through the next few days, don't be surprised to see some scattered storms along the coastal areas and also maybe one or two here and there across the area. But one thing's for sure, lots of heat for everyone. Temperatures in the 90s, 87 in Haman right now, 87 also in Gross Tet. Meanwhile, it's 91 in the city, but when you factor in the dew point, it feels like 100. But the champions, Woodville, look at that, 102 right now, 95 in Macomb, 99 in Kentwood. And the heat indexes are only gonna get worse as we go through the weekend. In fact, tomorrow, Around 105, how does that sound in Gonzales? 102 in Thibodeau, 102 in New Orleans, 104 in Hammond, about 103 here in Baton Rouge. So definitely stay hydrated if you can, if you're gonna be outside for any length of period of time. In fact, looking at the heat risk as we go through the weekend, it's only gonna get worse. As we go into Monday, look at this extreme in the capital region and Tuesday, it even expands even more. So hopefully we can get some rain in here to cool us down, but we're gonna have to wait a while because this ridge of high pressure is gonna drift off towards the west. That's gonna allow some energy to drop down from the north and that may be enough energy to spark the thunderstorms, especially as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week in combination with the tropical moisture that is advecting in from the south and to the east. We're also gonna be watching a possible tropical storm developing in the Bay of Campeche. That would be named Barrel, but the good news is Barrel is gonna stay well to the south and west of us, not really impacting us, mainly more northern Mexico. But of course, this time of year, we're always watching the tropics to make sure things stay under control. Instead, we're gonna be under this high pressure under its control, and that's gonna keep us very toasty as we go into the weekend. And then finally, we're gonna to start to see some scattered showers and storms in our forecast as we go into the middle part of the week. But in the meantime, temperatures in the 70s tonight, and then tomorrow, temperatures in the mid 90s with heat indexes over 100. Then as we go into Sunday morning, lows in the mid 70s. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna see temperatures rising once again, around 97, 98 here in the city. And over the next seven days, we're gonna see that heat continue right on into Monday, 96. Finally, some showers start to come into the picture on Tuesday night into Wednesday, better chance of storms on Thursday. All right.